great to talk with you. I am a nurse, and I was the head nurse for Dr. Neil Nedley's um, depression recovery program, um, head of the the, the the uh, Diana- diagnostic manual um, depression programs, but I am so like you're a psych. Sick. You're a psych nurse. <laughs> Actually, I'm a lifestyle certified. There's been three years now, four years now. They've been certifying certified RNs uh, in lifestyle medicine, where we reverse diabetes and heart disease in about it's about a 21 day program. I got program. you, but, but yeah. But you're were you trained as a psych nurse? A uh, little bit. I did some. I okay. we do it in the. It, it, I was the head nurse for his program, so I did that also. Okay, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Well, and, thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you for your service. I I, I, oh, I always say that you have um, you know because I used to have a uh, uh, a system um, with John Townsend. We had um, we had treatment centers and hospital units and about 40 cities throughout the western states and psych nurses are my favorite demographic of people (laughs) in the world i love psych nurses they are just there's so many good things about them so if i could bring them all into my backyard here and have a big party i would frequently because they're they're the best well i'm coming i'm coming if you have a party (laughs) if, if i have it so tell me tell me how i can help you well, I'm 67, retired. My husband is an optometrist, a doctor of optometry, retired, also has a degree in engineering plus K through 12 degree. We're too smart for ourselves, but we have lots of spats. We've only been married three years. I had a 15-year span between my 27-year marriage. I had four kids. Did we had a, a you know a godly home? We had you know four kids. Anyway, it's been 15 years now. In this marriage, is developing these little spats more and more and i'm going you know he's 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 developing little spats what's a spat a spat is a little uh a temper tantrum with me and i have one well i've been trying not to have one with him but i'm i'm just as guilty probably but i put my foot down a lot (laughs) so is that funny (laughs) <laughs> well for 67 year olds it's but it's it's a little painful afterwards for about three three days i suffer guilt for not being this you know like the submissive wife or the you know all that stuff which i've never been very good at but um i would gather you know. that but what <laughs> what are we talking about here i mean what what the heck's a spat every couple has spats i mean they kind of bark at each other every now and then but what what does a spat look like i mean okay you know, I, it's like i had a call I, I had a call the other day where you know ladies talking about you know she and her husband had marital problems and i said blah blah blah, <laughs> blah 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 you know we're talking about this and how bad is he she goes well i shot him i go well that's a little <laughs> spat with a capital s or are yeah. we talking about kind of you know small little arguments here what are we talking about and what's your question um, well we're very low key people in terms. I I, I run a ministry, um, yeah. You know, plus, and he's his like in the morning. I say, honey, we we have worship together at the same time. We have devotions, family devotions together, and then I say, okay, uh, you know, he shows me his list to do for the day. I have mine, and then I go through this little routine of <laughs> it takes us about an hour to do lunch and clean breakfast and clean up. And, um, you know, and so, and then sometimes there's things, if you we went shopping, it's a mess. So it may take an hour. I, I need us to do it together. And it's like, you know, he might do two dishes and walk away. Oh, I've got to go to the bathroom or I've got to have, you know, something. Wait a minute. Like a Stop. Can, can I ask a question? Yeah. Are, are you running a are you running a hospital unit or are you just going through a day at home? I mean it, it's and I, I I guess what I'm asking this is, is this is every day. This is no, every that's day. That's what that's that's what I'm hearing. You start with report, right? You know that you know what that term means. If you're yeah. a nurse, you know what that means. You change yeah. the shift, you bring everybody yep. in, you have report, you go over the report on each patient. What meds are they yes. on? What happened last night? What's our plan for the day? What time are we going to do? That's a little bit what this sounds like. It's a great. I mean, I love ordering people's days. 
But then you're kind of talking about it like you're running the unit and he's not getting with the program. Or. A- amen. 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 You know, okay, stop. Stop. Who. Who died and make, made you medical director? I mean, did he, did he agree to this plan? Well, or are you I, just running it he, and he's he not. You're calling does. him a teenager. You're calling him a teenager. So are you the parent yeah. or are you guys partners? I want to be a partner. So I explain. For six months, I've been saying when we wash the dishes, all stop, of this needs stop, to be gone. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop. Okay, I'm the husband here, all right? Yes. Did I sign up for this program? Or are you explaining it to me all the time? Um, if I don't explain it, it's explained to me. He tells you we got to have this program and stick to this schedule? Well, yeah. He says, uh, look at the mess over here. And, and what about this? We've got to do all the canning. We've got 26 apple trees and three plum trees coming now. And, uh, and I said, well, come and help me with the dishes. <laughs> all right give me a question okay how do i tell him we either stick to this schedule or when it comes to lunch there's going to be the same mess that we left at breakfast i mean i i, I can do it i can do it literally but i'm trying to get a reason out of a re- man who has three degrees you know <laughs> I'm sorry, Kay. I I'm love just... it when you laugh because I laugh <laughs> when I'm in the kitchen all by myself now while he's out there picking the trees and I'm going, ah. You know, well, we could have fun in the kitchen. We could be listening to you. Yeah, but for all, I, for love... all I know, hey, for all I know, Joey's out there saying we could be having fun in here out here picking the trees and she wasn't so obsessed with the kitchen. I don't know. That's exactly because he... what he says. Well, Thank God that God gave him a brain that he can think I for do. himself. All but right? then when it comes to lunch, he says, well, how are we going to start eating? You know, how do we prepare Kay. something? Okay. 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 All right. I'm going to take you back to your nursing days. All right. Yep. What do we have to have here for this thing to work well? We have to have a treatment plan. Right. Yes. Okay. You guys aren't on the same plan. That's right. Right? So how the hell is this going to go in the same direction if you're not on the same plan? That's right. A. Now, your solution to that, it sounds like, is you're right. That's why I want to get him on the plan. Right? (laughs) Well, that's what I said. Nobody died and made you in charge here. You guys have got to do this together. And so what I'm hearing is... You're kind of unilaterally wanting to correct his teenage behavior instead of calling him to the table and say, we, I'll teach you a new word, we, <laughs> <laughs> let's us, us together, get a plan for the day. Number one, what do we start with the vision for the end of the day? And then I've got to go to some other calls here, but I'm going to give you a quick outline here. Hey, honey, what do we want to have done by the end of the day? Well, here's some things that matter to me. What matters to you? Okay. Well, okay, we got this pile here. Well, it's a little more than we can do. Let's prioritize. What are your highest priorities? What are my, and let's get it down to something manageable. And then what we're going to do is, do we need any help with this? Do we need to call a gardener with the trees? Do we need to... You know, no, we we can do it ourselves. Okay, great. We can do that. Then we're going to get a strategy and a plan, right? And we're going to divide the roles. Who's going to do what? Okay, and then you ask a key question. Does everybody agree with this plan? Are we all putting our hands in the circle and going, yes. And here's the phrase I want you to search for with him, Kay. Go ask him. Do we have, ready for your phrase? mutually agreed upon expectations. Are we both signing off on, this is what you're going to do, this is what I'm going to do. Then if we have that, now we're working together, then you ask the next question, okay, if it starts to break down, 
how will we hold each other accountable? And you prepare for that. Now, once you try that, and if you do that, then you're working on the same team. But I want you to be careful because when I said psych nurses are my favorite group in the world, one of the things I love about them is they just can take names and kick butts when it needs to be done. I mean, they're tough. They got to be tough. You can't help somebody get well if you don't have good boundaries. Okay. But that's different than turning what's supposed to be an equal partner into a child or your patient or a rebellious teenager. Of course, he may be rebelling if he feels like somebody's trying to parent him. So anyway, that's what it sounds like to me. If I'm wrong, call me back. Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, I love psych nurses. All you psych nurses out there, you guys are awesome. 